Hello and welcome back. In my previous two videos, I walked you through how to set up AWS Amplify resource for the face liveness and how to create the Amazon Recognition face liveness backend. In this video, I am going to walk you through how to configure and customize the application to use the face liveness and integrate with the backend API and a quick demo. So let's get started. The first step we are going to do is we install the required dependencies. So we are going to do npm install, AWS Amplify UI React Liveness and AWS Amplify dependencies. Once we install both the dependencies successfully, we can check those in our package.json file. After that, we are going to initialize the Amplify in the code. So in our app.js file, we are going to import Amplify and associated styles.css file. We also need to include the configuration. For that, we import the AWS export.js, which contains all the configuration for the service we create with Amplify. We use this file when connecting the front-end and back-end service. So we call amplify.configure and pass the AWS export in that. After that, we are going to add the face liveness detector component in our code. Before that, let's quickly check the full list of props that can be used with the face liveness detector component. So here is the full list of props. The first is session ID that we get from the create face liveness session API. Second is on analysis complete the callback that signal when the liveness session has completed analysis and after that we can make a request to get the face liveness session results the region now this needs to be matched with our backend api and few other callback like on user cancel which get called when the user cancel the flow or when there is error occur for the on error callback and if you want to change the text, we can use the display text. And if this, if you want to do advanced uh, configuration, we can use the config props. Now, for face liveness detector, we first need to make a request to our backend to receive the session ID and pass that to the face liveness detector components. So let's create the function to make a call to backend create face liveness session. So here I have this code that make a call to create face liveness session and in response I get the session ID. Now let's add the face liveness detector component. So I have this face liveness detector component in that I'm passing three props. First is session ID, second is region and third is on analysis complete. Now this session ID as I mentioned earlier we'll get it from the create face liveness session api we provide a region name this need to be same as as where our the backend api get deployed and then on analysis complete this callback signals when the liveness session has completed analysis and after that we can get the session results now to get the session results we are going to make a api call in this handle analysis complete function so here we are making API call to get the face liveness session results and we get the, all the response back that include the status, confidence score, reference image or the audit image. Once a valid session ID, region and callback has been passed, face liveness detector will take care of streaming videos and present the face liveness challenge. So let's start the app and then see the quick demo. So here we first initialize the face liveness check in the app and just to reiterate the flow, it start with first the app called the backend, which in turn called the Amazon recognition service. The service create a face liveness session and return the unique session ID. 
The app render the face liveness detector amplify component using the obtain session ID and appropriate callback. The same face liveness detector component establishes a connection to the Amazon recognition streaming service. After that, it renders an oval on the user screen and displays a sequence of color light. Face liveness detector records and streams video in real time to the Amazon recognition streaming services. The face liveness detector components calls the on analysis complete callback to signal the app that the streaming is complete and scores are ready for retrieval. The app calls the backend to get the results and backend make the request to the Amazon recognition service to get the confidence scores, reference image, audit image and the session ID. As you just saw, you can quickly build a face liveness application using Amazon Recognition Face Liveness and verifies that only real users, not bad actors using spoofs, can access your services. To learn more, get started, visit the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness documentation page. Thank you for watching.